So corals are a, a symbiosis between an animal and inside their tissues are these little tiny single-celled algae and the host provides shelter and also nutrients to the algae. The algae give the host sugar in return. You can think of the host as a habitat for these huge collections of algae that are providing oxygen as one, but also just base of the food chain resources to the whole ecosystem. When corals get hot, they get stressed and the symbiosis collapses. And then if they cannot reestablish that symbiosis, ultimately the, the partnership dies, the host dies. What I study is how the host and the algae, um, how, they, how they communicate to each other. How does global climate change disrupt how the cells talk to each other? We would like to have a, a, a full understanding of the arc of the symbiosis. So from the establishment of the symbiosis, all the way from that to bleaching, which is the loss of the symbiosis, because if we have that whole story, then we have a lot of power about how we can engineer changes and help the corals. There's coral bleaching where the algae are kind of released by the corals as a stress response, but they, the algae are also released homeostatically, so just in normal conditions. No one's really looked at that. And understanding that can help build solutions to the coral reef crisis. Our group is largely based on discovery, but we trust in science that discoveries then bubble up to solutions. We don't use corals because corals are extremely difficult to study in the laboratory. But we have a little sea anemone that is perfectly happy to live in the dark without its algae. We picked Percival because we had these old Percival incubators and we knew it was a big name in the incubator industry and we liked them. So we talked about it and we could buy the Volkswagen or we could buy the Cadillac. He convinced me that we should buy the Cadillac. First of all, it was one of the only few really companies that had lights that were meant for algae and had the right shelf height as well, because we don't need anything really tall because we're not a plant lab. Basically, every square inch of the shelves are usable because the lighting is very uniform. It's very reliable. We have exquisite control on light conditions, not just brightness, but day length, and also on temperature. So it's very important for our research to be able to conduct temperature experiments because that's what causes bleaching. I hope to open my own lab someday. And when I do, I want to work with Aptasia and with the algae. And I am definitely going to pick personal incubators.